Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have a really fun project share. So this is another design team project for Erica at Scrap Diva Designs. And I have done several projects here and I've been keeping with my fall theme. I've had so much fun creating with all these fall products. So anyway, so just to tell you, um, today on these projects, um, I've used um, the sun, small sunflower bag topper. I have used the large sunflower bag topper. I used the keychain number two. I've used the fringe style flowers. This is like, I love this flower. This is like, it's amazing. And then I have also used the Hey There Pumpkin Small. And I have also used the Fall Shaker Plate Bundle. These were super fun too. Anyway, so, these are my project shares. Um, let's go ahead and start with the keychain. So, oh my God, this die is amazing. I absolutely love it. This is a die I'm definitely gonna be reusing. You can use it for so many different things. So this is the keychain number two. I don't know what the first one looked like. I'm assuming it's very similar, but um, I kind of turned mine into more of a tag. So as you can see here, what I've done is I just took seam binding and I put it through the center of the two two loops right there and this way you can hang it on um, anything you want um, you could use it for um, it's I don't I think it's too small to fit a gift card in the back but um, without it it might be wide enough but I think it would be taller than the keychain itself but this is how I did it um, I thought it would be super fun to kind of use it as more of a tag so as you can see here um, this is the shaker part so in the die set um, it has the shaker piece, it has the base piece that you can use to either just cover the front um, as a layer or um, it's the exact same size as the shaker piece so you can use it to, to back your shaker. And I just think this came out so cute. This little bow is also in the keychain number two and it's super cute. It's got really nice stitching detail and as you can see it's got the really cute little scallop border. Absolutely adorable. This is a digital collection that um, I use the same, it's a, uh, is that I used on my bag that I showed before. And then these are these super cute fringe flowers. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely adorable. Absolutely love them. What I didn't do anything special to these, they are, um, they do come in, so the fringe flowers come in three different, four different, four different sizes. So you've got two large and then two here and then two of these like other size medium and then two small. So what I did was I just cut them out like three times and each of my flowers is three layers deep and then but I, I don't change the size so I'm keeping the exact same three size together and stacking them and all I did was distress them. I used um, I think it's vintage linen antique linen it's antique linen by tim holtz i used distress oxides and i just think they came out adorable i love them they are just like full of character they just have i, I love the little edges it really gives just a really cute little shabby look and you could use them for any you know any purpose but and then i just put the cute little pom-poms in there and actually i forgot that i used this dye on here so this is actually um some of the leaves that come out of the new door the min the door mini album which i have a project i'm working on right now it'll be coming um a little bit later this month um but these come in that die set and the die set has a whole bunch of these i think there's like five or six different greenery which is fantastic because you can just put it at, you know put it through your die cutting machine just once so i just use some um paper that had words on it and I just dressed them up and I just think it looks super cute. Now I did make a shaker mix and I used the shaker plates. Unfortunately I made this mistake of using some like sequin mix that was too staticky. So I'm going to show you what the sequin mix actually looks like. So this is my sequin mix that I made and I just love these shaker plates. So as you can see I took the little um the little acorns and I distressed the top of them with walnut stain and then I cut out the this style of leaf with this little pink one 
pink paper and then I took my another plaid little paper here and I cut them out in the other style of leaf. I didn't cut out the mushrooms because I was kind of going with a the fall theme but I absolutely love this and let's see here maybe I can give you a little bit better of a look. Okay so here we go. So this is what you can kind of see a little bit more of a close-up here of what the shaker mix looks like such a fun dye. I had super, super fun with this. I think I like making sequin mixes and this one was really fun to be able to create all the little, oh, and I actually, I forgot I did little, um, some little acorns out of the word paper too. So this was really fun to be able to kind of coordinate with my paper collection, which is always the nice thing about using like dyes like that. So this was a really fun dye. So anyway, so that is my, that is my shaker mix. And then on the back side here of the keychain, um, I use a little pocket. So it comes with the pocket. This is the layering piece that I'm talking about here. And then the pocket has not this layering piece, but this layering piece, I die cut it a second time and I just cut it out. And then I made another little bow on the back and then when I put this keychain together I used the main part of the keychain I cut it twice out of craft card stock and then I just simply made the loop up here at the top and glued them together and then they're glued together in the center so it's really sturdy um, so yeah so I really love this and then you could put a little goodie back here absolutely adorable this is a really really fun die Anyway, I think it came out super cute. So then my next project here, I used the sunflower bag toppers, small and large, or I think that's what they're called, small. Yeah, small and large. Absolutely love these. I mean, when I did my bag, you guys saw I used the sunflower mini album. So the sunflower itself is designed exactly the same way. So it has two sunflower pieces. Um, that you layer. So you can see here, there's two pieces. You cut them out. You could cut them out as many times as you want. I cut them out each twice and then I just layered them up from there. So I just think they're amazing. I absolutely love these sunflowers. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So this is the bag topper and you can see um, I have it on decorated with pattern paper on both sides. I did want to make mine a little more sturdy. So it is using also a lightweight craft paper cardstock. I think it was just like, it's an inexpensive one from like Michael's. And these measure about, let's see, it's about three and a half wide and it's about four high. So um, this is the small one. And as you can see here, I use some of the things from the, this is also part of my digital paper collection. And then this is the Hather Pumpkin Small. It's exact, it's the one that I showed in the last video. I just utilized it here on top of the sunflower. Just pop the little leaves in here, put a little bow, and I just think it came out so, so super cute. I absolutely love it. And then here is my large one. And oh my gosh, this one is my favorite. It's so absolutely adorable. First of all, this digital collection that I used with these cute little foxes is just the most adorable thing ever. But this is my large one and let's see here, let's measure it. So it is about, it's, it's just under four and a half wide and then it's about five high. So it's about four and a half, maybe about four and three eighths by about five high. So it's a really good size. I did the exact same thing with this one. I backed it with that same paper. I have this lightweight craft card stock in the center. And then I used another one of my digital papers here to do this really pretty blue polka dot sunflower. Absolutely adorable. Again, I use, these are the greenery pieces from in the door mini album. Um, this is such a great die. I'm going to be using this one all the time. I'll probably just leave it out because it's a really good go-to. And then I have these really adorable shabby chic flowers again. Super, super cute. I love how they look with the really cute little pom-poms in the center. And then in the back, you can't see it too much, but I have the other die cut piece. It's um, this one right here does that like waffle center you could also do a shaker but I just did mine out of glitter cardstock 
And then I have a couple of leaves here and then these cute little bows and that's it. So that is my large bag topper. So anyway, that is my project shares for today. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. And as always, I will have all of the dies that I have used today listed in the drop down box below in case that you want to go and pick any up. Um, don't forget to use my code Amy10 for 10% off. And I will actually be back in just probably in the next couple of days. I'm going to be doing a flower tutorial. Um, I'm going to do one with glitter and then I'm also going to do, I think, a little flower tutorial for how I made these. Just so you guys can see how quick and easy they are. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.